Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Books and Bobs, my name is Rob, my cheeks are red, the sun is shining outside and today I am here to bring you a new video and that is the mid-year book freakout tag. I was tagged by Jules over at Page by Page so I will leave her a link to her channel down below so you can go check her out if you want to find out about her channel. But this is a video that I did last year so I'll link that up in the eye if you want to check it out and it is generally going to be the same questions as last year. So I think without further ado, let's get started. Okay so we have 15 questions to go through so I'm going to really try and speed it up and go through it but just a little disclaimer before we start, this is going to be a Brandon Sanders Anderson film filled video as usual on my channel so if you don't like Brandon Sanderson just leave and unsubscribe because you know we all love Brandon Sanderson here so yeah question one what is your favorite book of 2017 so far and my answer of course is going to be The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson like that's no surprise I told you so yeah look the best book I've read this year in 2017 is Brandon Sanderson I loved it so much I even did a 15 minute review on it so I linked that up in the eye as well if you want to find out about this book even more it's as spoiler free as I could make it and this is basically just Brandon Sanderson's epic fantasy novel to rival that of the Wheel of Time. So it's the Stormlight Archives, there's going to be about 10 books in this series and it is amazing. It is filled with magic, politicking, fights, um, learning, all these kind of things. You know, different magic systems in it, there's at least three that we know of and it is just everything to me. I live for this book. This book is fantastic and if you haven't read it, go read it. Go take a week or two of your time or even more if you're like me and read slowly and just delve into this world because it's amazing. Question number two is the best sequel that you've read so far this year in 2017 and I'm going to show you Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the second book in the series, the Witchland novels or the Witchland series which started with Truth Witch and I loved Truth Witch. I've done a review on that as well so if you, I'll leave it up in the eye if you want to find out more about the series but basically we follow a load of witches who have different powers and they're specifically like elemental they link to different things and this sequel was everything I wanted it to be and more we found out more about the world we found out more about our main characters it was so much darker than the original and it was fantastic so so good I couldn't have asked for more from Susan Dennard and I'm so excited for the third book in this series I have no idea what it's called I have no idea when it's out but I'm just already here for it I'm here for it question number three is the newest release that you haven't read yet. This really isn't a new release. It came out quite a while ago, but it's one that I haven't read yet and I've been eyeing up and I have two copies of already and that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. If you don't know me, I love the Cinder series, so the Lunar Chronicles, and this is Marissa Meyer's standalone that's based around the Queen of Hearts from Sleeping Beauty. And I still haven't read it. I have the special edition that came with Owl Crate, and I have this normal edition, and I've picked neither of them up yet. And I've been eyeing it for so long since the start of the year, and it is a new release for me that I haven't read yet, so I better get on this because I've heard it's fantastic, and I really, really, really want to read it, so yeah. The fourth question is the most anticipated release for the second half of the year and it's going to be no question. I haven't read the second book in the series but the third book is coming out and it is Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. I'm so excited for this book even though I haven't even like I'm not up to date on the series yet. There's a novella, there's a novella I have to read, there's book two and then book three is coming out in November but by far it's the one that I'm most excited for so I cannot cannot wait for it and look at that cover it is just gorgeous oh my god like it's so so pretty and I've no doubt that the book is going to be massive so I'm going to try and get the hardback of it and the UK edition paperback I'm so excited so question number five is your biggest disappointment for the year I am talking about the girl on the train for this one by Paula Hawkins I listened to this on audiobook and it was terrible I hated it I give it two stars because it was a passable listen and it kept me occupied for the first half of the book but then it just fell down a dark 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 hole and could never come back or be redeemed so yeah no didn't like it didn't like it wouldn't recommend it so Definitely the biggest disappointment because the hype that went with this book and the fact that I've kind of started getting into crime or thrillers, it, it really let it down. So, 
Oh well. And six, your biggest surprise of the year. And so far that is Orange Volume 1 by Ichigo Takano. I loved this. I usually steer towards very magically driven manga and ones that are very, very fantastical and really like heavily, you know, that involve like a lot and a lot of magic that are really, really supernatural, that are drawn in a really unique way. But this was a real big surprise. It has some sort of a fantastical element, just like minor subtle thing that's driving the plot. But other than that, this is like a real to life kind of like drama coming of age story. And I was so surprised that I really, really liked this. There's a lot of hype around it. So I, that's why I picked it up and read it, but you know, it's not overtly like people fighting things and it's not really action-y, but there's a lot that happens in it and it's so enveloped in their characters and the character development and stuff like that. So I was so surprised that I really, really liked it. It was kind of like a YA contemporary. I generally like steer clear of them, but I really, really enjoyed this. So yes, biggest surprise of the year. Number seven is a favorite new author, either one that published their first title this year or one that is new to you. And I'm gonna pick Jillian Tamaki uh, with Super Mutant Magic Academy. I really, really enjoyed this comic. And as I said before in a wrap up that like, it's really, really snappy. Each one, each page is kind of like, it follows a different character. It's only about four panels. It's really quick, really witty. The drawings are really basic, but it is fantastic. I love Jillian Tamaki. So I'm really, really gonna hunt for all her other books that she's written. Now I haven't looked up how many she has, but I haven't really seen many around the place. So I think it definitely involves a bit more research on my part, but I really enjoyed this book and I'd recommend it if you're what looking for kind of a quick read. Newest fictional crush, I'm gonna pick Shallon from the Stormlight Archives. She's so smart, like it's amazing. And I love her character. I love her character development. I love her motivations. I love what she's able to do. She's able to kind of imprint a memory in her head and then draw it perfectly. And there's a lot more other stuff going on in the story with her and just her character and just how badass she is and it's so, so good. Now you do have to read The Way of Kings like all the way through to kind of realize a lot of this, but she's fantastic. She's an amazing character and I just love her so much. So if I had to pick a fictional crush this year, it is Shallon from the Stormlight Archives. And number nine in that vein is your new favorite character and that is going to be Shallon too. Like she's just, she's just amazing. I know it's a quick answer for it, but like it's so, so good. Number 10 is name a book that made you cry, none. Number 11, name a book that made you happy. The Way of Kings. Number 12, favorite book to film adaption you've watched this year. I can't remember any film that I've watched this year that was kind of, you know, adapted from a book. So instead I'm gonna go for a manga and that is season two of Attack on Titan. I, I love it, it's so good. It's coming to an end this weekend and I just can't believe that season two is already over when it's only after coming out. So yeah. Season two of Attack on Titan, manga to anime adaption. Not so uncommon, but really, really good. Number 13, favorite video that you've done this year for booktube. That's definitely gonna be my Way of Kings review because it's the one I'm most proud of. It's about the book that I have like read this year that kind of has taken over my life and one that I enjoyed so much and just tried to get my thoughts out onto the air, you know, like kind of correlate them all together. So definitely the video that I am most proud of this year. Number 14, almost coming to an end, is the most beautiful book that you've bought this year. I'm gonna pick Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson, not only for the cover, but mainly for the Shallon artwork that's in on the inside. I love this drawing. It is so, so beautiful. And of course, it's my favorite character, so why not? And number 15, I have a stack of books in my hand, so I'm not gonna be very animated for this question, but name a few books that you need to read by the end of the year. So definitely the first one is one you've already seen and that's Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I definitely plan on reading this before the end of the year as soon as I can because I'm so excited to get to it, even though it's been on my shelves and it's one of the books that I regret not reading the minute I bought it. So definitely have to read Heartless. Second book is The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. I read The Fellowship of the Ring, I think it was last year or maybe the year before, for the first time. I've never read The Lord of the Rings and I never managed to get it get past the first bit in the Fellowship of the Ring. So it would definitely be a shame to not continue on with the series and read The Two Towers. Third book I have to read is 
Erased by K. Sambe. Um, I love this anime series. I have a review for volume one of the series and volume one of the manga on my channel. So I'll link that up in the eye as well if you want to go and check it out. But this is a fantastic manga series and the anime is so, so good as well. The drawings and animation are gorgeous. The story is really, really interesting. And it's one that I picked up in a London book hall not too long ago, but I have to read it. I've been putting it off and kind of just been glazing over it. So I need to read this before the end of the year. And the last two are Brandon Sanderson books. So I need to read White Sand by Brandon Sanderson. This is another entry into the Cosmere universe but it's a comic so I'm really interested to read it and find out about the magic system in it. I've heard it's pretty good but uh, just been putting it off for a while as well. And finally I'm gonna name two books but I have to read Words of Radiance. I've been thinking about this book so long that I can't put it off any longer. I have to finish what books I'm reading and then just dive into this. And of course Oatbringer as well coming out in November so I have to read that before the end of the year. I'm so excited for it and when it comes out I'm gonna pick it up straight away so those books yes so that is it guys that is the end of my mid-year book freak out tag if you liked any of these books or if you have read them or if you have any recommendations for books that i should have put in for some of the answers to the questions leave a comment down below i would love to hear what you think I love this tag. I actually had great fun last year doing it, so I'm really happy that I did it again this year. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will leave all my social media links down below. That is my Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram, so please follow me there and keep the conversation going. As always, if you liked this video, please hit subscribe so that I will appear in your feed when you log into YouTube. So you will see when I post new videos. And if you want to get notifications for that as well, just hit the little bell and, you know, on your phone, you'll be able to watch it while you're at work if you'd like to see me while you're working. I don't even know where I'm going with this, but either way, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all again very, very soon in another video. Goodbye.